Okay, I'm Steve Connish, and this is a quick introduction to using OpenSCAP with Red Hat OpenShift. So what is SCAP? SCAP is a standardized compliance checking solution for Linux infrastructure. It's a line of specifications maintained by NIST for maintaining system security. Now SCAP is implemented by the OpenSCAP application, and for OpenShift, it's available as an operator. OpenShift has numerous security benefits, here are some of the highlights from the bottom up. First, OpenShift uses CoreOS by default, which has an immutable RHEL 8 kernel that enforces SE Linux. To help secure containerized workloads, Red Hat offers a universal base image, or container, to base your containers on. Specifically, it's an OCI compliant secure foundation for your cloud native microservices. Now, as you build and deploy containerized cloud native apps, we encourage you to scan each of them for vulnerabilities using Red Hat Quay. Here we are illustrating how Quay will flag a vulnerable container before it's inadvertently deployed. OpenSCAP is available in a Git repo as an operator and it's used to audit, log, and remediate the OpenShift infrastructure. Let me give you a quick walkthrough. Okay, before we get started, we've got to go ahead and log into the cluster. So we've got a little script here that just calls OC login. We're going to log into the cluster as kubeadmin, which is the default username. Next, we're going to just print the OpenShift cluster version just so you see which version we're using. And it's 4.3.1. So now we'll go ahead and create a directory for the OpenSCAP Git repository, and we're going to go ahead and clone the Git repo. Okay, let's go ahead and create the OpenShift compliance namespace. Now we can go ahead and create the OpenSCAP operator and we can deploy it. Now we see a benign error at the end, that's because we've already created the namespace. So we can go ahead and review the operator before we do the scan. You can see that it's going to cover both the workers and the masters. Uh, in this particular cluster, we have three workers and three masters. So let's switch to the OpenShift compliance project first and then start the scan. Okay, so now we can go ahead and monitor the cluster scan by doing a watch on the OC get pods. This is going to take a while, so I've shortened it a bit. Okay, the scan is completed. So now we could go ahead and do a get compliance remediation to get a list of things that we might want to uh, remediate. Here's an example one. Um, if we wanted to go ahead and remediate this particular issue, we could go ahead and edit it and change the apply from false to true. And then just go ahead and save the file. And once you save it, it'll automatically invoke the operator. So from there we can do an OC get nodes and it'll show you that one node at a time is actually being remediated and each node that's being remediated will be rebooted. So a quick review of OpenSCAP logging. 
Comprehensive logs are stored in persistent volumes which you can mount and analyze. Smaller logs may also be stored in config maps. We can list the config maps and then extract them pretty easily. As you'll see in a second, in our case the smaller logs are empty as OpenShift is highly secure out of the box. So that wraps it up. Thanks for watching.